spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 14. So, Rithika, what we are going to learn here today? We are going to learn eight diphthongs, diphthongs examples. Eight diphthongs. Yeah, I said it. Okay. And? Story in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Describing words. Okay. Jokes. Okay. Life is an echo. Mm -hmm. So let's learn the diphthongs first, right? Yeah. Okay. So you repeat after me, okay? Okay. A. 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 I. 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 Oi. 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 Ear. 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 Air. 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 Ua. 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 O. 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 Ow. Ow. So, economy to make a word bulb, okay? Timbulba, it may take contate. So, bay. A. Exactly. Boy. Oi. Boy. Oi. Tear. Ear. Tear. Air. Tour. Ua. No. O. Now. Ow. So, a diphthongs will be important to pronounce English words, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, I am going to put a word. You will see it in the same way. I am going to put it in the same way. I am going to put it in the same way. I am going to put it in the same way. Story. In the beginning. A long, long time ago, there was nothing but a great empty space. There were no earth and no sky. There were no sun and no moon. There was no light anywhere. Everything was covered with darkness. The merciful Allah thought of making the world. He said, Be, and the world was made. Allah wanted the world to be beautiful. He spread the earth like a carpet. Then he put mountains on it to hold it down. Of the earth he made the sky. In the sky, he put two lights, the sun and the moon. And he told the sun to shine in the day and the moon to shine at night. Then Allah put stars in the night sky and told them to shine brightly. To help travelers find their way at night. There are many stars in the sky, yet each one is different. Some are small and some are very big. Some twinkle gently and some burn brightly. They are like road signs that guide the travelers to the right place. After that, Allah divided the dry land from the seas. He covered the land with greenery, big trees, small bushes, and colorful flowers. He told the rain to water the plants so that they might grow. After that, he made all kinds of animals, camels, horses, sheep, and elephants. Then he made all kinds of birds, high-flying eagles, beautiful peacocks, and sweetly singing nightingales. And he filled the seas with fish and other creatures. The world was beautiful. The earth was green. The sky was blue. 
and the seas were green and blue. There were many different animals on earth, many different birds in the sky, and many different fish in the seas. Yet Allah wanted the world to be even more beautiful. Allah made the angels. The angels obey Allah in everything. They are his messengers. They carry his commands to all corners of the world. They see to it that the whole world is running as it should. The wind blows where required. The clouds take the rain to the right spots and the rains give water to the fields and gardens. Then out of fire without smoke, Allah created jinn. Some jinn are good and some are bad. Some of them are believers and some unbelievers. Finally, Allah decided to make a human being. He collected every kind of soil. He mixed it like a potter's clay. He molded it into the shape of man. And breathed his spirit into it. He named the first man Adam. And Allah made the first omen and named her Hawa or Eve. Allah made the beautiful world and he gave it to man to live in. So, Ritika, how are you, honey? Yeah, I'm doing great. How about you, sir? Mm -hmm. We will describe some people with adjectives, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. So now I'll ask you some questions and you see there are two columns. They are antonyms, right? Yeah. Antonyms are opposite words, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is the antonym of good? The antonym of good is bad. <laughs> what is the antonym of fair? Dog. You need to say the full sentence. Okay. The antonym of fair is dark. What is the antonym of the word rich? The antonym of rich is poor. <laughs> okay. What is the antonym of the word hardworking? The antonym of hardworking is lazy. If somebody is not meritorious, then he is what? Then he is dull. Are you dull? No. Okay. If somebody is not ambitious, then he is what? Then he is hopeless. Okay. If you are not careful, you are what then? Careless. You are careless, I know, I know. No, I'm not, so... If you are beautiful, you are not what? Ugly. You are not ugly. If you are naughty, then you are not what? Gentle. I know. Yeah, I know too. Okay. If you are tall, then you are not what? Short. Okay, you are not short. If you have long hair, you do not have? Short hair. Very good. If you are educated, then you are not what? I'm not illiterate. You're not illiterate? I'm not. Okay. If you are computer literate, then you are not? Computer illiterate. What do you mean by computer illiterate? Who doesn't know about computer? Yeah. Do you know how to use computer? Yeah, I of don't course. think so. You know only how to play games, don't you? No, I can use computer. Do you know how to type fast? No. Then what? If you are an early riser, then you are not what? Late riser. If you are religious, you are not? Irreligious. Irreligious. If you are faithful? I'm not unfaithful. Mm. If you are extrovert, then you are, you are not? Introvert. Okay. And if you are outgoing, then you are? I'm not 
unsocial. You are not unsocial. Mm. If you are friendly, then you are not unfriendly. Are you unfriendly? No, I'm friendly. I'm very friendly. Then you are not unfriendly. Yeah, I'm not unfriendly. You are not friendly. I'm friendly. No. If you are helpful, then you are not what? Unhelpful. If you are inactive, then you are not what? I am active. If you are active, then you are not what? Inactive. What is the antonym of the word spendthrift? The antonym of spendthrift is frugal or is sparing. Actually, is frugal. Oh, frugal. Frugal. Now the meaning of spendthrift. Spendthrift or thoche, je puchu taka tomar khoros kore arki he? Mane abhi chare bay bay kora arki he? Spendthrift. Frugal or thoche kipta. So are you kipta or you are spendthrift? I guess I'm spendthrift. You are spendthrift. That's a bad habit. Yeah, but. I can't be frugal now. <laughs> okay. If you are respectable, you are not what then? Disreputable. Disreputable. If you are caring, then you are not what? Hard-hearted. I mean, kuthin ridar manushit. I heard you are hard-hearted. No, I'm not. Mm, I know, I know. If you're trustworthy, then you are not what? I'm not to be trusted. If you are hard working, then you are not what? Laid back or idle. If you are famous, then you are not what? Infamous. Infamous means cook. So, we will do an activity. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, boyfriend. What is your favorite music group? I love you too. Boyfriend will say, I love you too. But what's your favorite music group? Lol. Yeah. Twist is what? ग्रुप का नाम ही चुला है लव यू टू या तो लंदन में एक जन लोकल एक जन किसी के शुरू करते बोल से यू नो माय डॉटर हैज मैरीड एन आयरिश मैन ओ रियली नो ओ रियली ओके मतलब नाम ही शायद मेल गया थे ए और बी एर मुझे कथा होती है परफेक्ट सन नहीं है हम्म आई हैव द परफेक्ट सन डज इट स्मोक नो ही डजन्ट � does he come home late? No. Then you have the perfect son. How old is he? He'll be six months next week. <laughs> okay. That's funny, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. Okay. Now, a, a story to read. Let me read it. Life is an echo. A little boy got angry with his mother and shouted at her. I hate you. I hate you. Because of fear of reprimand, he ran out of the house, he went up to the valley and shouted, I hate you, I hate you. And the echo returned, I hate you, I hate you. Have, having never heard an echo before, he was scared and ran to his mother for protection. He said there was a bad boy in the valley who shouted, I hate you, I hate you. The mother understood and she asked her son to go back and shout, I love you, I love you. The little boy went and shouted, I love you, I love you. And back came the echo. That taught the little boy a lesson that our life is like an echo. We get back what we give. <laughs> Here we learn that uh, it's written here that taught the little boy a lesson that our life is like an echo. We get what we give. It means that if we give good things, then we will get good things too. Yeah. I mean, if you spread happiness, then you get happiness that too. And if you spread sadness, then you get sadness too. Mm, like this. Okay. If you love, you get loved. If you hate, you get hate. You get hated. 